I turned this old jar into an orange springtail colony. I wanted to make sure to create the ideal breeding ground so that way I could use this to seed all of my future terrariums. First I needed to create a false bottom using red lava rock to allow the springtails to breed since they like to do it on water. I layered some smaller black lava rock on top of this to help keep the soil level off of the actual water line. For the soil level, I used Josh's Frog's Dart Frog Substrate Mix. I'll be sure to link everything I used in the description as well. With the soil in, I added some water, about half an inch, distilled. I had a few fragments of dragonstone. I thought they would look cool, but they also have clay lodged in between the holes, which the springtails do appreciate. Springtails like a wet environment, so I misted it down with more distilled water. I had purchased a small colony of about 20 orange springtails off of Amazon. They came in a little cup full of sphagnum moss, which I decided would be the final top layer. I also added a small piece of moss just to help keep the air nice and fresh in there for them. With everybody settled in, I fed them some springtail as well as rapashi super pig food. But realistically, the best thing to feed them is just some high protein tropical fish food flakes. They need some protein since they are orange springtails. I figured in about a month or so, I'll be ready to seed one of my next projects, which will be a new poison dart frog vivarium, which you can see right here in its beginning stages. Fast forward a month and my orange springtail colony is absolutely thriving and we're also ready to take some of them and seed my new poison dart frog vivarium. Apart from serving as a good little snack for my poison dart frogs, these guys will also be the cleanup crew, eating all decaying plant matter, the waste from the frogs, as well as any mold that might grow in the vivarium, since it is a high humidity environment. 
Here's a quick shot of the poison dart frog vivarium two months after completion. The springtails that haven't been eaten upon arrival have now taken over and seeded the vivarium well. I sprinkle in some fish food for them once in a while, but apart from that, they're absolutely thriving. You can watch the full video of the poison dart frog build here, and also make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks.